Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to CBS News Philadelphia Now on this Wednesday evening. It is August 31st. We start off our show tonight with an Amber Alert not going to happen, despite the fact that the girl was found safe and sound. So we want to thank my favorite news reporter, Carrie Carallo, for covering that news story. Let's get on with the rest of the local headlines on this Wednesday as it continues. The world recognizes International Overdosage Awareness Day. That's where communities in our region are honoring those being impacted by this. CBS3 was at Blackwood, New Jersey tonight as participants started to have a candlelight visual and so much more. The time right now is five minutes to 10 o'clock. Pennsylvania declared a drought watch, including 36 counties, such as Philadelphia, Montgomery, Delaware, Bucks, Lehigh, and so on. People living in those counties are being asked to conserve some water, if you put it that way. Let's kick off our CBS News Philadelphia Now broadcast with my Aunt Tammy Sousa. Go ahead, Aunt Tammy. Go ahead. You have to stay weather aware at all times. Thank you so much, Auntie Tammy. We now go to Mississippi as there was a water crisis still in Jackson, the state capital of Mississippi. Water was everywhere, but it's not safe to drink for people down there. So we're being told that President Biden makes a declaration of emergency, even though he is going to be in Philadelphia by this time tomorrow. You can watch President Biden's speech on CBS News and CBS News Philadelphia, the streaming service channel. We're coming right back with more of our top stories and headlines when CBS News Philadelphia Now continues after this commercial. <laughs> 